Today we're going to be talking about the proper way of gripping a handgun. This is a, a Glock Model 21, full size uh, 45. And the, the, we start by, of course, like always, we always start with making sure that the weapon system is clear of any live ammunition. We visually and physically check, make sure that there's nothing in there. You place your little finger in to the chamber area, make sure you don't pull, push the slide forward and hurt yourself. So that's one way. And then what we do is we, let's say assuming this is the, the, the gun hand or the shooting hand, in this case will be my right hand, what I'll do is I'm going to grab the weapon system, of course after I push this forward so it's clear for us to see. Now the web of my hand is going to go attached, is going to be attached to the beaver tail. This part of the weapon that we call the beaver tail. Now if you see yourself doing this and you leave this gap in between, now there's a problem with that. All you got to do is just shift your hand up and you got it. Now one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to squeeze on the gun too much. If you do that, you get tired too quick and then you're not going to be able to pull the trigger. Uh, so what you do is just have a a little grip on the weapon, okay, without having to squeeze too much. If you, how do you know that you squeeze in too much? If you start seeing too much white on your finger and let's say right about the web of your hand, then that means that you're gripping too tight, too hard. So no need for that. Uh, without having to shift too much and turning around and everything to show uh, the viewers what, what I'm doing, I'm going to switch my gun hand, my, my gun hand to be my left hand. Okay? Even though I'm not a left hand shooter, but we'll do it for the purpose of this video. I did the same thing I did with my right hand in my left hand. The web of my hand goes on top or as high as possible at the, to the, towards the beaver tail and then there's no gap in between as I can see. Now what I do is with this void here, I'm going to have to cover it. If my support hand is still functioning and I'm, I'm not shot or anything like that. So what happens is that I tilt I, I, pull, I put my hand forward and I tilt my wrist and then what I'll do is I'm going to grab the weapon system by covering the void that's, that was exposed. So I cover it like this. Hand goes down and then like so. Now I notice my thumbs are forward and they must be on the frame, not here on the trigger, trigger guard or anywhere in here. Just keep it on the frame and then your left thumb goes over your right. If I'm a right-handed shooter, I do the opposite. My right thumb goes over the left and like so, like we can see on in right here. So, and, that, and from there you go to the side alignment, side picture and everything. But today this is just a short video about the proper way of gripping a firearm. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them for you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Shoot safe.